Welcome back. So I only have three items or three purchases I'm going to go over with you in this particular video, but there's one huge, huge buy that I want to include and take some time with rather than adding it to a larger haul of items. So let's start off with an addition to the Al Rosen collection. So this is the program for the 1981 Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. And as you can see in the bottom right, Al Rosen was one of the inductees for that particular year. And honestly, I'm not very familiar with the Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Springfield, Ohio. I don't know if it's, if it's still around or um, how long it lasted if it's not. So, I saw this for very inexpensive and I thought it was rather unique. It's not signed or anything. It was just a fun addition that I didn't have in the Rosen collection. So there's Rosen's bio and his stats. If you flip through, it has a little history of the museum, the program for August 19th, 1981. You have the executive board on the left and the trustees on the right and you have the former induction classes including 1980 1979 1978-77 And the charter inductees, the inaugural inaugural class in 1976. And supposedly this museum officially opened in 1981, earlier in 81. So this is Rosen was part of the first class inducted while the baseball while the museum was in operation. So but a nice little addition to the Rosen collection. I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to slide it to the back while I go over the next purchase. So these are these should be familiar. Um, this is part of 1949 team issue set, and this is an inexpensive lot. I think it was eight or ten dollars. It had Rosen in there. Lou Boudreau, Bob Lemon, Hegan, Mike Garcia, Bob Kennedy, Hal Peck, and then Tucker. But obviously, purchases purchase these. The Boudreaux is nice, but it's a nice Rookie Rosen, which I have one of these already, but again, the price was right there where I like it to be, and so, of course, I'm going to add it. But, so you go from a nice Rookie Rosen, and the ne next item, the last item, is a very nice Rookie piece as well, but it's not Al Rosen. This one popped up on eBay, and the price was really good. It was a listed of buy it now or best offer. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so I don't have to hold it and hold it up to the camera, and we'll give it its own space here. So this one was listed on eBay. And I'm guessing within five minutes I had a deal on it. 
budget's a little bit tighter right now so the slightly more expensive items like this well as it turned out slightly more expensive I had to just take a chance and make an offer on it the list price was very good and I know at least a couple of people that just would have jumped on that but I had to just make an offer and fortunately within five minutes of that the seller had accepted now if you look at this image just look at it at Greenberg's cap that particular D cap for the Tigers uniform dates this image between 1931 and 1933 so it's a rookie image but also you have the signature here live ink signature a little bit of smudge on the G which I'm okay with slightly indented into the photo but you can't really tell I'm keeping it in the plastic for now but that is a rookie signature if you look at the G here which makes a little triangle so it immediately got my curiosity the signature looks good it looks live and which is why I primarily put the offer in on it because early Hank signatures are incredibly difficult right now they seem to have all dried up and when they do pop up they go for a healthy amount of money to say the least so I put the offer in they accept it within five minutes clearly I paid for it and they sent it to me in the meantime I tried to find this image and I can't find this image I don't I haven't found a record of this image at all which kind of piqued my curiosity when I finally got this image this item in hand it is postcard size if you can't tell from the um, this video but it is postcard size it's removed from some sort of scrapbook or the other option is photo album it is ever so slightly thicker than a postcard and it does have a gloss finish on it so my thought process is given the other items authenticated items I have in the collection this is a type 1 rookie photo likely a snapshot photo something that was not used or if it was I haven't been able to find it yet with a rookie signature on it which is an absolutely phenomenal piece to have I do already have the pricing lined up for dual authentication with PSA which is surprisingly reasonable prices seem to have kind of normalized a little bit at least in photo authentication and uh, auto authentication so this will be going out next week uh, for processing if you will for authentication on both ends a dual dual authentication and I'm incredibly happy that I took a chance put an offer in for 250 which is miles below this where this the value will be should it come back and I expect it to come back in a PSA slab so this was my amazing pickup again I try and save some really nice stuff for Fridays because I want to go out on a high note at the end of the week before I head into Shabbos and some really nice solid inexpensive pickups for the Rosen collection but let's not take that away from Hank I'm very excited to have this and again sometimes you just if you collect a player or a team you have to just keep refreshing and checking um, the search results on eBay because you never know what's going to pop up I never expected something like this to pop up at the price it did so when they do keep a little bit in your PayPal 
so you can just jump on things um, and get it in your collection because that's for a lot of us again I say us so including myself don't have a tremendous amount of money to put into a collection so you have to find the deals and take advantage of them when they pop up so the deals are still out there they come up every so often just remain vigilant in your search and every once in a while you will land a great item for your collection so that's what i got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching, commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show. Or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet. And the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.